Overclocking up BenQ monitor is fun, easy and supposedly very safe. But it's your own risk. Two methods for overclocking your BenQ monitor. The S-switch method or by using the software out of range buster. If you don't want to use the S-switch or don't have it, you will have to download out of range buster. Here I'm showing the software, but if you're going with the S-switch method, you can skip this part. Download the buster and start it. To always keep it running, we will add it to the startup. Press win plus R, that's the win logo plus R, and type shell colon startup then drag or paste the file to the folder depending on your display cable you might have to unlock the pixel clock in the nvidia or amd driver for good measure we are just going to download and use it there is one for amd and one for nvidia by the way for valorant and face it players the anti-cheat might block the change of drivers and stop you from playing if this is a problem for you, you could try overclocking without the pixel patcher. Press OK and it will patch it. We have to change monitor settings. For safety, if you have blur reduction on your monitor, you need to turn it off. Then find a setting called AMA and turn it off. Then find instant mode. It's recommended to have it on, but for me, I need it on off. If these settings are grayed out, change your picture mode. For S-Switch users, we are going to save the settings. To start the overclocking, we head over to NVIDIA control panel and then change resolution. Press on customize and create custom resolution. Decreasing with one vertical pixel makes the resolution easier to find in games. If you want, you can test by adding 10 Hz for each test. I will list popular values in description. You will have to find the best value for you, but don't let the pixel clock go above 480 megahertz. I have found a sweet spot at 180 Hz for my monitor. Head over to Timing and select Manual. Follow my values. Front porch 24. Total pixels 1984 and 1095. Positive, positive. Pressing test will display the error message out of range. If you have the Buster software, it should automatically be fixed. For S-Switch users, we will press on our saved profile from earlier, and that's it. If you're satisfied, save the new resolution and apply it. If you get stuck on black screen without a message, you need a pixel clock patcher or you need to lower hertz. If it looks like this, you need to turn off AMA in monitor settings. Or if it looks like this, you need to change instant mode in the monitor settings. A higher refresh rate might result in washed out colors and light. For a quick fix, you can adjust desktop color settings. If you want more colors, you can increase digital vibrance. To test your new settings, you can check for frame skipping. To test it, you will have to use a camera. I will show you mine. This is the difference between good and bad frame skipping. We have to lower the shutter speed to about 1 over 10. Take the picture 
Check it. Nice. Links and all information is in the video description.